No, thanks. I'm doing well enough without the help of a radio program. But that's where you're wrong. I bet a radio program would double your sales. Maybe it would, but unfortunately, your station hasn't anything to offer. Sally, even a farmer wouldn't listen to your programs. And what's wrong with our programs? Everything. You've got nothing to sell. No personalities. No acts. <laughs> You're as about as up-to-date as that horse trader. Our old gray mare is nigh on 23. She's as happy as a coarse gal, I declare. I declare. She ran away with granddad just the other day. She came on home, but Grandpa wasn't there. Now, looking down the road, I saw a fog of dust. I saw Nella come, and I heard her squeal. She dropped the buggy home with the dashboard all kicked out, and Granddad pants were wrapped around the wheel. Oh, the old gray mare, oh, the old gray mare. She's taken many miles down any trail. Well, you can ride her, you can drive her, she's as gentle as a lamb, till old Nellie gets the reins beneath her tail. <laughs> you ain't hearing nothing. Here comes Dean Austin, that rambling rambler from Rainbow Ranch. Rocky Mountain Rose, now I love you. 
bloom forever in my heart. You will always be the sweetest rose to me. Keep the love light burning. Soon I'll be returning. Every little breath of the springtime. Every little breeze that blows Makes my love grow dearer Seems to bring me nearer Back to you, my rocky mountain rose Rocky mountain rose now Boy's got something those farmers understand, Sally. Keep the love light burning. Soon I'll be returning. Every little breath of the springtime. that applause and watch their faces. You want my account, do you? We'll sign him to a contract and you can have it. What's the deal? That's only a sample, folks. Come on after the old barn dance tonight. We got a real show. And free. Then we'll have some horses to auction off. The best in the state. To the highest bidder. Mr. Autry. Mr. Autry. May I see you for just a moment? I'm Sally Dawson, manager of radio station KLD. Well, I'm mighty happy to know you, Miss Dawson. I just heard what you call a sample, and I think you're grand. In fact, I'd like to sign you up for a series of broadcasts. You'd like to what? Don't you understand? I'd like to sign you for a radio program. Well, hey, how about me? Oh, the contract would include the whole troupe, of course. Well, I'm sorry, but you see, we're not radio entertainers. We're just plain horse traders. Well, it ain't gonna cost nothing to try. I'm convinced our listeners would simply swamp you with fan mail. I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, that one business to take care of already. But don't you realize you'll make much more money broadcasting? <laughs> Shut up that machine! Stop it, you idiot! <laughs> with our demonstration? Huh? Oh, the demonstration. Yeah. That's a mighty proper tractor, all right. <laughs> sure did raise game with that herd. That just goes to show you what a tractor can do. Why, even a whole herd of horses can't stand up against it. Now, that tractor wasn't scared, was it? <laughs> no, but I was. Now, really, you can't get along without a tractor. But I've been doing it for 30 years. What are these horses good enough for me? Are you all right? Sure, sis. It is a lot of fun. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. You were splendid. That's all right. I'm glad I could be of some help. And now, if you permit me, I'd like to help you. 
About that radio program. Oh, I don't think I'd be any good at selling coffee on the air. <laughs> no, but you'd do mighty well selling tractors. Tractors? Yes. You'd be singing and advertising for mammoth tractors. But you see, I'm known as a horse trader in this country. I'm just old-fashioned enough to believe that horses are better for these ranchers than tractors. But it's a shame to waste your talent selling horses when you could put it to so much better advantage. It wouldn't be wasted if you'd come to the show tonight. I don't mind telling you I'm terribly disappointed. But I'll come. Goodbye. Bye. Come on, Johnny. Okay, sis. All right, Mr. Miss Dawson, I told you that if I didn't get my money, that I'd have to remove this equipment. If you'll only have a little patience, well, I'm sure it that... It seems we... to me, Miss Dawson, that I've had patience enough. And anyway, why prolong the agony? You old skin flint. I've invested every penny I own in this station, and you can't take it away. Yes? Well, this radio station can never be run on a profitable basis. You're wrong, Mr. Terwilliger. Mammoth Tractors have just agreed to sign up for a program. A big contract. Gee, sis, you finally hooked Thornton. That's well. Marvelous. That's miraculous. That is, if it's true. Of course it's true. Well, well, you'll have to show me. And that's just what we're going to do. Sally, get Thornton on the phone. Make him come through with an advance payment. I'll stop this wolf from barking at our heels. Yes. Two eight nine J, please. <laughs> that contractor put this station right on its feet. <laughs> There's no stopping us now, Sally. Hello. Hello, Mr. Thornton. This is Sally Dawson. Do you still want to sign up for that series of broadcasts with Gene Autry? Of course I do. Did you get him? Yes, I did. Fine. Get the contracts ready, then. And, and could I have a few hundred dollars in advance for our payments on the... Uh... Just as soon as I hear the first audition. Thank you, Mr. Thornton. I'll be over after the broadcast tonight. There, you see? Yeah, well, all right, I'll give you a chance. Remember, I'm coming back tomorrow for my payment. Or take this equipment. Let me see. We'll build two new broadcasting rooms and remodel the place. I, I think we ought to get one of those newfangled electric light signs for outside. Eh, Sally? Yes. Come on, Johnny. We're going to the old barn dance. Oh, don't hesitate to put your mouth out on a little bit of meat, Johnny. If your mouth is really your hope, your grandpa will back to Lydia and Lee. Tell the man you left and right, your boy will right and left and hurry up, boy, so you don't be slow. You can impress them, you can have no one to meet your wonder wall. I had a nice old gal, pretty as a plum. I took her to the surface, all she done was chew and gum. I had a little gal, she pretty as a plum. I took her to the movies, all she done was chew and gum. Ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by the Thornton Equipment Company, distributors of Mammoth Tractors, is coming directly to you from the Grangefield Barn Dance. And now, back to the dance floor. And now, folks, Gene Autry is going to sing a song. We'll have to get the mic closer to him. I can't pick him up from here. Leave it to me. Okay. Many years ago, my daddy found romance when he found the sweetest girl at the old barn dance. Mother 
lies to tell They only took one glance In and there They fell in love At the old barn dance Couples swayed Everyone was gay The barn was full of hay Hey, hey While they played Turkey in the straw They loved each other More and more Do like daddy did Just give yourself a chance Find yourself This girl at the old barn dance It's the same old one and two That the old folks used to do To a merry fiddler's old quadrille In the cobwebs and the hay We will dance while fiddlers play And we'll feel the same old thrill We will hold each other's hand While we strut and look so grand When the callers call for promenade Country dancing then and now With its curtsy swing and bow Is the best dance ever made Thanks a lot, folks. Thank you. Now... We'll start the auction. We will now return you to our station for a short interlude of recorded transcription. Take it away, KLD. Not bad. Not bad. Darn good, I'd say. Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Fong. What did you think of the program? You got something there, Sally. If you'll come over in the morning, we'll discuss the details and... I'll be over right now. All right, what am I bid? For these four-year-old gilded. Gentlemen, well broke. Come on, speak up. Here's a pair of horses worth $300 of any man's money. Make me an offer. How about you, Harlem? Make me a bid. I bought myself a tractor. A tractor? Don't tell me you've gone in for one of those contraptions. Why, man alive! Riding on one of them big cocktail shakers is give you the St. Vitus dance. What about you? I got a tractor, too. Well, tractors may be all right for some things, but you still need horses. What for? Most anything. Can you put a saddle on a tractor? No. Can you talk to it? No. Can you pat it on the neck? No. It ain't even got no neck. Can you round up cows with a tractor? No. No. But I can do more plowing with one tractor than I can with a dozen horses. Well, I don't know much about plowing. But you can't take your girl out for riding on one of them things. How would that thing find its way home alone if you're trying to kiss her? Keep quiet, girl. Surely all of you fellows aren't switching to tractors. I got the contract from Thornton. That's swell. Now all I need is to convince Jean to sign. Is the auction over already? Yeah. She didn't sell any horses. Gee, that's too bad. Well, Jean, them Grangeville ranchers pulled us that time, didn't they? Yeah, and it leaves us in a pretty bad fix. We ain't broke, are we? Almost. We don't have a good sale tomorrow in Brush City. Hello, Miss Sally. I've been wondering where you were. I'm sorry to hear your sales don't go over so. Well, it was kind of a disappointment to us, too. Oh, them Grangeville ranchers is local. They went and bought tractors. Can you blame them? Oh, I, I appreciate how you feel, but, well, you can't stop progress, you know. I guess you're right. Then why don't you sign this contract, and you'll make more money than you ever will with horses? What I said about tractors still goes. This contract's between you and me. I, I have other sponsors. Your show could be used on any program. I can't stay here. I've got all these horses. I've got to go on. You wouldn't have to stay here. In fact, it'd be better if you didn't. We could broadcast by remote control from wherever you are. 
Is it that simple? You'll fire? Well, hey, does that contract include me? Of course. All the boys are. Well, go ahead and sign it. KLD, ladies and gentlemen. And again, we take you back to Gene Autry and his Rainbow Valley Ramblers. Why don't you buy one of them tractors, Clem? If Gene's singing for them, they must be all right. Well, maybe it is a thing to do. Go down in the morning and have a look at them, anyhow. Sure brought results, all right. I know how to pick a winner. Those farmers went for Autry like nobody's business. What you shenanigan about? That Maxwell Finance Company wants to take my tractor away. Same here, and I'm only one payment behind. This must be a mistake. Mistake nothing. The sheriff said if we didn't make them payments, he'd take our tractors. Now, you told me. Now, 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 don't get so excited. Mr. Peabody here will step over to the finance company with you gentlemen, and everything will be straightened out in a jiffy. Boys, come right along with me. Yes, Mr. Thornton? There's a bunch of squawkers coming over. Take care of them in the usual way. These gentlemen and I want to see Maxwell. Is this the way to treat our customers? Well, what's the matter? You can't take these tractors. Well, now, please understand. I don't want to take those tractors. Then what's them papers for? Well, after all, this is a finance company. I don't care what this is. Thornton assured me that... But Thornton has nothing to do with it. We bought his contracts, and we're the legal owners of those tractors. You and Thornton are in cahoots, that's what. Oh, are you getting angry, gentlemen? There's nothing I can do. If you want to keep those tractors, you'll either have to make payments or put up security. I'd be willing to take... Take that, you swindling slicker. And now let's get Autry. If it hadn't been for him and singing for them tractors, some of us fellas never would have bought him. Can't get away with that. You better follow him to Inglewood and see what happens. by Frog Millhouse, and then we'll start the auction. Let it go, Froggy. Listen to the whistles go. Listen to the way they blow. Don't you think they've got a pretty tone? This is the way they play. Play at night and day. It's what is called the new jazz sack of home. What to do, then you can play it too. You simply want to pull each string this way. And for the extra tone on my jazz acapone, you give his tail a yank and make him break. Let's 
Jean, I'm getting it. You ain't even watching me. Why, well, sure I was. Hello, Sally. Hello. How's things in Grainsville? Oh, same as ever. How's business? Been doing any better with the auction? Well, they seem to like the show, but they don't buy any horses. Why don't you fall in line, too? What do you mean? If you weren't so bitter against tractors, I could have you broadcast for them. They'd pay you much more money. Than... I don't care what they say. That's one product I'll never broadcast for. Now, Sally, you wouldn't want me to do anything I thought was wrong, would you? No. Jean, there's something I've got to tell you. I've been wanting to tell you, but... Thanks, Audrey. I'd like to know. You fellas better do a little explaining. I suppose you're aiming to tell us that you know nothing about Thornton and Maxwell taking back our tractors. Suing us for what we owe. Taking our tractors away just at harvest time. I never thought you'd mix up with them crooks, Audrey. Why, some of us never would have bought them tractors if it hadn't been for you, and you know it. For the love of Mike, what are you trying to say? I'll tell you. I've been wanting to tell you, but... Tell me what? I lied to you. You've been broadcasting for mammoth tractors all the time. Not for me. Well, being that I'm partner responsible for this, I want to try to straighten it out. Well, what can you do? There ain't much anybody can do. You've harvested with horses before. You can do it again, can't you? Yes, I suppose you can. I've got 20 head here you can split up among you now. Within a week, I'll be back from the range with enough horses to take care of every farmer in this country. Frog, have the boys saddle the horses. Come on, boys. Just a moment, Miss Dawson. So you thought you'd pull a fast one on me, too, eh? I'm sorry. There'll be no more broadcasts. No more broadcasts? Well, that's hardly fair to me. Perhaps you've forgotten that I have a contract with KLD, that you've taken money from me under false pretenses. Can you pay back that money? No. Then you'll go on with the program. But how can we? Gene's you've gone. You've made wax records of the shows. We'll use those. Nothing doing. I've done enough damage to him already. Would you rather I turned your father over to the authorities? But my father's a sick man, and the shock might even... Then we'll go on with the program. Walker well, comes back with a lot of horses. It'll wreck your sales plan, won't it? Yeah, if he comes back.
All right, boys, let's cut out about 50 heads. Somebody's right in the corral. Come on. All right, boys. I guess you stepped in a hole. Well, you stare some into those rocks, boys. Let's go back and see how bad Texas hurt. You boys get him to a doctor quick. You know them daggone horses took out in a high lope for the tall brush, and it'd take eight days to catch all of them? Yeah, this is some of Thornton's work. Well, don't take much guessing to figure that out. Them farmers won't get no horses on Thursday now, will they? No, and I'm afraid they'll get desperate and sign their crops away if we don't get there on time. Well, what'll we do now? I don't know. You boys try to round up the rest of the herd and get them to Grainsville before the county fair opens. All right, Gene, we'll get them there. Frog, you come on with me. Now, you ranchers can do as you please, but let me remind you, the day the county fair opens, that's the deadline. Unless you sign up for then, some of you will be without tractors. All right, Maxwell, you've had your say. Now, get out. Give me two. Say, hey, maybe Gene ain't a-coming. What we said he'd be here with horses, he will be. Maybe, but he'd ought to be here already. Listen to Station KLD. I'll show you why Autry ain't here with a bird. And that accounts for Autry not getting here with a herd. We were fools enough to believe that he was on our side. Someday I hope I can get my hands on that double crossing. What's the matter? What are you staring at? Do we look like spooks? 
Now, I know I ain't had a drink. How could... You're the only star in my blue heaven. And... That station's broadcasting a record of one of my shows. I'll put a stop to that right now. Come on, Frog. And we'll go with you. the times, my friends. Let our courteous salesman explain how you can buy one of these tractors on the easy payment plan. Remember, Mammoth Tractors, the farmer's friend. Now the Maple City Fall will sing, the green grass grew all around. There was a tree, no there was a tree, stood in the woods, there was a wood. The deuce of tree, the tree, tree that ever stood, that ever stood. and this tree the wood was round the edge, round the edge, round the edge, round. Ah, oh, this tree, ah, oh, this tree, there was a nest, there was a nest, the fluffiest little nest, there was a nest you ever did see, you ever see, and this nest, the best, the best tree, the wood was round the edge, round the edge, round the edge, and in this nest, in this nest, there was a bird, there was a bird, the prettiest little bird, the little bird. You ever see? You ever see? Um, this bird. 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 Said I'd find you here. But you might be anxious to hear a little news. Yes, yes, of course. But you should have waited in my office anyway. Well, I... All right, all right. Bruce, what happened? Did everything go off all right? Well, you won't have to worry about Autry for a while. What did you do? Stampede of the herd. But Autry and his punches caught us, had us, and we had to shoot it out. You close enough to recognize any of you? Oh, don't worry. Anybody hurt? One of my men got ripped in the shoulder. One of theirs, I think it was Tex, got built right off the saddle. Being dead, it's a miracle. What about Autry? I'm not so sure. Him his horse went down, too, but I saw him get up again. Then what about the pail? I'm going to wait from outside. As soon as I get through with the announcements, I'll be over and straighten things out with you. Now, friends, I wish... Shut up, that broadcast. Mr. Autry, we're broadcasting. Shut it off before I do. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Autry? You didn't think I'd let you get away with those broadcasts. Why, Mr. Thornton told I don't you. care what he told you. I want those records and I want them now. Just a minute. You're trespassing on private property. I bought the station from Dawson this morning. Get out of my way. Where's my wreck? Listen, Gene, there's something awful important. I gotta tell you. I... Hello. Get me the sheriff, quick.
What are you trying to do, Gene? Tell the fighter man that you arrest this man. On what charge? On what charge? For attacking me and wrecking my place. Well, you'll have to swear on a warrant. Don't leave town. Come on, you fellas. Get out of here. There's something I've got to tell you. Not now, Johnny. Some other time. You want me to go down and swear out a complaint? No, we can do better than that. Well, getting that off your chest might have helped you, Gene. But it ain't done anything for us farmers. Don't worry, I told you I'd have horses for all of you, didn't I? Yes, but we got to have them by county fair a week or we're sunk. Well, when is the county fair? A week from yesterday. They'll be there. Bye, right, boys. We'll see you at the county fair. <laughs> Somebody can't warn him to keep away. Take it easy, Clem. As soon as the boys get here with those horses, we'll get that crowd away from Thorn. Great idea, bringing this band on from Chicago. Hey, Gene! There they come. Of the trouble on the old Chisholm Trail, come a tie, I yippee yippee yay, yippee yay, come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. I woke one morning on the old Chisholm Trail, the rope in my hand and a cow with a tail, come a tie, I yippee yippee yay, yippee yay, come a tie, I yippee yippee yay. A ten dollar horse and a forty dollar saddle, back to punch in Texas cattle, come a tie, I yippee yippee yay, yippee yay, come a tie, I yippee yippee yay, yippee yay. You want me to break that up? Wait a minute. Thornton ought to be right back. I know some of you ranchers are getting anxious. 
So we'll start the auction right away. These horses will be sold to the highest bidder, as usual. Since I know some of you Grangeville farmers have been pressed for cash, you can pay me later. Now, here's a pair of horses four years old. General, pound is a dollar and broke. What am I offered? A hundred dollars. One hundred dollars over here. Just a minute, George. What's the matter? What's this? An attachment on your horses, Autry. Thornton is filing suit against you for damages and breach of contract. Damages and breach of contract? Yeah, damages to his radio station and breaking your contract. Sorry, Gene, but that's the law. Fellas, take charge of the horses. Another of your tricks, Thornton. There's nothing for you farmers to worry about. Just talk to Mr. Maxwell here, and I'm sure he'll release your tractor. Yeah, sure he will. If we shine away our crops. Gentlemen, the directors have agreed that today is the deadline. If you want to redeem your tractors, you'll have to act immediately. I guess we ain't got no choice, fellas. All right, you high binding swindler. We've got to sign. That's better than letting the crops rot in the fields. Interested in buying a tractor, mister? Yeah, 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 man. Well, that's fine. Just step up here. Let me show you how this wonderful little well, thing listen, works. Listen, you, you don't have to show me how. If I if I want a tractor, well, I'll buy it. Say, do you know how to drive this thing? Well, sure, I know how to drive it. Well, okay, let me start up for you. All right. You need a self-starter on this thing. There she goes. Stop! Stop! Come back here with that tractor. Hey, you can't do that. Why don't you sue me? Brands on them, fellas. Go get them. <laughs> Audrey, get the cowboys after your horse. They're not mine, Sheriff. They're yours. There, that's the last piece. I hope it works. Let's put it on the turntable and see. Everything go off all right? Well, you won't have to worry about Offie for a while. What did you do? Stampede of the herd. But Offie and his bunch of caught us, had it, and we had to shoot it out. Are they close enough to recognize any of you? Oh, don't worry. Anybody hurt? One of my men got ripped in the shoulder. One of theirs, I think it was Tex, got drilled right off the saddle. Two, but I saw him get up again. We hardly lost a word. Come on, let's find Gene.
swinging records all over the place. He grabbed this one. I tried to stop him, but it's just too late. Well, Thornton, I guess your friend Buck has cashed in, and this record ought to take care of you. Come on. <laughs> Love her. 